This is part of the Iron Dome system that Israel has been using in order to intercept rockets while under attack. In the last few days, over one million Israelis have endured a barrage of rockets launched into southern Israel from the Gaza Strip. This part of the defense system right here is meant to detect the rockets as they're being launched from the original terrorist platform. However, they're not meant to intercept every rocket launched, only the ones that are aimed at urban and populated areas. We are now in a site, and you can see the radar in, in behind of me, and basically we have uh, launchers with, uh, which are deployed all around the area that uh, we are uh, defending, and once a rocket is being, th is being shot toward the area that we are defending, we make sure that we uh, shoot against it with the Iron Dome missile uh, from the best location in order to make sure that we have the effective, uh, to make sure that we are as much effective as we can against this rocket. Uh, since the beginning of this uh, event, more than one million people in the south of Israel are under attack. We have to understand that the missiles are uh, against the main cities, against the population, not uh, shooting on any military uh, uh, targets, but on our civilians. And uh, over one million people are now in a situation in which they have to protect themselves and they have a very short period of time to enter a safe room, which could be sometimes uh, a shelter, but in many times it could be only uh, uh, lying on the ground in order to protect their, their head. And uh, this is what we are doing with the public. The public is in a very uh, big tension during this uh, situation. You have to understand that we have children. We have older children, we have, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, disabled people, and think on a disabled person, or an older person, which needs to go to a shelter and he has 15 seconds or half a minute, which is very tough for the population. And it's a situation which uh, uh, all the time we have alerts. We are trying to give them the alert in order that they will protect themselves to reduce the number of casualties and to save life. But this is the situation over here in uh, Israel. The first interception was on, was on the 7th of April last year, and we are almost a year from now, few rounds of uh, escalations like this. And uh, from a military perspective, uh, we uh, took this time to make sure that we are learning, we are debriefing ourselves, and we are getting better in the mission. Uh, so I won't speak on percentage-wise, but I will tell you that the percentage this round is, are better from the percentages in the in the previous rounds this is number one and number two the areas which are def that are being defended are wider areas and this is where we are going with the time to have more and more batteries and to have a wider areas of that are being defended what's considered success success considered from my point of view obviously to intercept the rocket that is being shot toward the cities of israel this latest round of rockets has been the first significant exchange of fire between Israel and Gaza in 2012. The combination of defensive capability, offensive capability and civilian fortitude is what the Israeli government is calling a winning combination in order to sustain and defeat these rocket attacks. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv in southern Israel.